morning, family. My name is Tayshawn, and this is your keys for the day. If doubts weren't real, the Lord wouldn't teach us about them. Pastor Ricky G. Rush. Every time you take a step of faith, doubt will be there. Doubt is real, but so is God. So keep on taking steps of faith. My name is Tayshawn, and that's your keys for the day. I am grateful for the legacy of leadership and the path paved by those before me. Leaders who serve with the passion for seeing the world as it can be, not just as it is. I am blessed to see that battle every day through the teachers and staff at the U of D, Pastor Rush, and the members at IBOC. I'm Carson, and this is a special IBOC Data Report. And I think we are in a new era, a new phase of the struggle, where we have moved from a struggle for decency, which characterized our struggle for 10 or 12 years, to a struggle for genuine equality. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was known for a lot of things. His dream, his fight for equality, and his love for God. I believe there's something else Dr. King believed in. And that was the reset button. He had the courage to speak up and say to our nation, we need to stop and reset. Reset our thinking, reset our actions, and reset the dream we want to pass down to our children. That message is just as relevant today as it was then. Tomorrow we celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Let's be sure to take time to remember his life, legacy, and dream. Speaking of dreams, let's check out the latest trending topics at the University of Dreams and IBOC. Check it out. Twenty twenty one is our time to reset. We believe God knows what he's doing and every day we are just following his lead. So here are some trending topics for the week from U of D and IBOC. Number one, academic excellence. Our amazing educators are taking effective creative teaching to new levels and we are excited about the result. We are also excited about our amazing scholars and here is a super duper K-5 scholar who loves her school. I, I love our church, I love our school and it's perfect and it has community and a lot of love in it and God is there to help us always and our school is amazing and our teachers are amazing and the scholars are amazing and that's it. And that's it. Thank you, Kaylee, and thank you to our amazing teachers. Number two, stay connected. We are doing everything we can to keep service as personal as possible. So we just want to thank you for staying connected to the ministry. Thank you for watching service on Facebook and YouTube and our website. Thank you for giving online with Givelify and Text to Give. Thank you for joining us on the World Wide Wall. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being proud members of IBOC. Number three, still a champion. The Cedar Hill Longhorns played in the state finals yesterday, and even though they did not win, we want to honor our very own Deacon Carlos Lynn for going above and beyond this season to train young men to be their best on and off the field. We love you so much, Coach Lynn, and we are so proud of you. Those are your trending topics for the week, and all the glory goes to God. Well, that's all we have for this week. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Monday School Live at 7 p.m. I'm Carson, and you've been watching IBOC then. Bye.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the best game show of 2021. Let's play Name That Scripture. Our first contestant has been a member of IBOC for 27 years. Give a round of applause for Deacon Church. He will be competing against kids who have been on Earth for five years, introducing the K-5 class of the University of Dreams. And now for our hostess with the mostest, Sister Kelton. Hi, everybody. My name is Jasmine Kelton, and I am a proud member at the Inspiring Body of Christ Church. And I am also a K-5 educator at the University of Dreams. Now it is time to play Name That Scripture. And now, five rounds of questions featuring Deacon Charles versus a five-year-old. Question number one. Give me a scripture that talks about sin. A says, eh, 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 all have sin come short of the glory of God. Romans 3 and 23. Correct. The first point goes to K-5. <laughs> Our second question. How many persons make up the one God, and can you name them? The answer is three. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Correct. That's two points for K-5. <laughs> Question number three. According to the Bible, how can we be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved at 60 and 31. Correct, that's three points for K-5. <laughs> question number four. Deacon Charles, I have not asked the question yet, sir. <laughs> Does the Bible say that God loves us? God is love, First John 4 and 8. Correct, that's four points for K-5 and zero points for Deacon Robinson. <laughs> Our fifth question, what is the D scripture? Depart from evil and do good. Psalms 34 and 14. Correct. That's five points for the K-5 scholars and zero for Brother Charles. But wait, we have one more question. Who has the best K-5 scholars in the whole world? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The University of Dreams! Glory to God! Glory to God indeed. Thank you for joining us for Name That Scripture. Let's get ready for the Word of God.